for this project I was matched up with um, a guide dog Victoria client called Rory Douglas and um, I met with him a couple of times before I started my work and um, I found just meeting him really really inspiring and um, over the time that I spent with him um, uh, I was able to observe um, how he lived, worked with his guide dog Gideon and um, and the positive impact that Gideon had on his life. Yeah. When you talk to someone um, who's got who's got a dog that you know they bond with so much, and it's not just the day to day. It's uh, it opens doors for them, you know, to a lot of things they either couldn't do before or have never been able to do before. And so uh, Caroline just you know went on and on about how much freedom it had given her and. So I guess that's sort of where, what inspired my artwork is it's sort of built of two patterns, one that incorporates that sort of technical know-how of the dogs sort of making their way through the world and then um, the other pattern incorporates sort of what that meant for Kaylee and Caroline. We came together and we were told that we were going to do something like this. It's all quite excited but no one knew what we were going to do for the dog. So then we came up with all of these ideas we had splattering, we had the landscape, which we're doing now. We had wings, we're going to mount three we, wings on the back of it. Um, some of them we had to cut down a little bit because they weren't very realistic. We chose to paint landscapes on our dog and we thought um, being blind, it doesn't really hinder you. You can still do everything that a person with sight could do. You can go anywhere, and I guess that's where the idea of landscapes came from. You can go anywhere, do anything. I'm an artist that looks at ruptures in the suburban dream. I thought this idea would be perfect uh, working with a guide dog because uh, for me, they're uh, a really nostalgic and iconic image that's always been there since I was a very young kid. And I kind of left the nose all kind of like dirty still because I kind of imagine that's so built up of hundreds of kids slobber and stuff. For, you know, plus the guide dog, you know, kind of gives people access to the suburbs and there's references to roads and images of suburbia throughout what I've done. Um, well, with our artwork, we've based it off a previous carey parent named Peter, who, he has a guide dog, but he still enjoys the outdoors and going hiking and he's completed one of the Oxfam walks. So we kind of based it off his love for nature, so that's kind of how like all the wood chips and the leaves came in. Well, I named the dog is Princess. I choose it because it's a nice name and I love to name that. I done red, white and an Aborigine design. And then I done the red for the back side. I'm just so happy to done, that I done it. Initially I've gone with the idea of a bird and that sense of freedom that the guide dogs provide and um, from there I developed it further into uh, sort of an owl and that uh, sense of wisdom that they're able to provide. Our topic in art was freedom so all the pictures we put on there were freedom kind of like the bugs, eagles which fly have wings and some of them were birds coming out of a cage. It's like a miracle for people to have a dog and to help them walk around with because they're blind and it's like a miracle for them to have it. Um, I knew that they um, help people who are blind and that you're not supposed to um, touch them or give them a pat when they're doing it and they can get taught really well. I think working with like the dog it just really helped us understand like exactly what like they have to go through and the difficulties so we tried to like bring that out in the dog so that's why we have like textures on um, him and yeah it's really helped us realise like from their point of view where how they see Melbourne especially and the rest of the world. It's like some people if they saw someone with a guide dog they'll go oh they're blind, they can't see, they're like missing out on the, this part of life. But 
it's not really true in a way because they can still get out, they can still enjoy everyday life. They just can't see what's going on around them, but they can still feel it and everything.